Mayor Johnson says Chicago will be able to fill the gaps when ShotSpotter shuts off on Sunday. He says he's not changing his mind that ShotSpotter needs to go. WGN's Jenna Barnes joining us live from police headquarters with Next Steps. Jenna. Yeah, Micah and Ray, police here at CPD headquarters and elsewhere throughout the city won't get shot spotter alerts anymore after Sunday night as the contract expires. Mayor Brandon Johnson says the city will begin a request for information process to find a replacement. There is an RFI that is coming out as we look at other technology um, to, to help first responders um, get to the scenes faster. Mayor Brandon Johnson defending his decision to veto the last ditch attempt by city council to save the gunshot detection software ShotSpotter. The software's parent company telling WGN News it will see sending Chicago police real time gunshot alerts on Sunday night at midnight and it will begin dismantling ShotSpotter infrastructure on Monday. Sound thinking says it will continue to work with CPD to ensure a smooth demobilization, including access to historical gun crime data and analytics tools. I'm scared for my residents. I'm scared for my daughter. I'm scared for myself. You can't just leave us with nothing. In a Hail Mary Wednesday, City Council voted 33 to 14 to try and save ShotSpotter, giving Police Superintendent Larry Snelling the power to renew the contract. Sound thinking responding in a statement saying we're pleased with City Council's decision yesterday and view their heartfelt testimony and resulting vote as a powerful message from the citizens of Chicago regarding the role and value of ShotSpotter across the Chicago neighborhoods that we serve today. Give us a fair city wide of ShotSpotter. Yeah, we're getting 16 rounds. Hours after the mayor pledged his veto, a ShotSpotter alert led police to a home invasion in Woodlawn. There were two little kids in here, no adults. They stole the TV. Came back out onto the street and started shooting it, maybe southbound on St. Lawrence. While a 2021 Inspector General report found the system rarely led to evidence of gun related crime, proponents say the tool is worth it if it can save just one life. We're open to technology, but it has to be technology that works. We attended tonight's regularly scheduled police board meeting here at Chicago Police Headquarters. Superintendent Larry Snelling did not comment on the vote yesterday, the promise of the veto, or any of the shot spotter developments coming this weekend. Aldermen who support shot spotter are working on a way to override the mayor's veto. We're live at 35th in Michigan, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.